In today's video, we are going to talk about rebranding your business, because if you have been around my channel within the last week or so, you may have noticed a name change. And I wanted to talk a little bit about that, but I also wanted to give you guys some tips and go through my process of rebranding. So if you ever consider doing that in the future, you will have a little bit of insight on how to do that. Let's get started. So first of all, I wanted to talk a little bit about the name change on the channel. I wanted to let you guys know right off the bat that the content on the channel will not be changing. This name change is more of a personal change and it's more of a logistical change as well to make things a little bit easier for me. But if you're concerned about the content changing on the channel, that is not the case. I'm going to be uploading the exact same content that I was uploading under Business Women Thrive. So I just wanted to make that clear before we got into anything. Let's back this up a little bit because my rebranding process really started quite a few months ago in ways that you guys probably didn't notice. If you only follow me on here, you wouldn't have noticed that I changed my blog name as well. My blog name used to be Business Women Thrive, just like the channel, but I rebranded it to Sarah Marie, which is obviously what the channel is now. And the reason I did that is I just wanted to take the blog into a different direction and I wanted to really expand the topics that I was talking about into more of a lifestyle niche with self-care, manifestation, more productivity, and things like that. And I really felt limited in the Business Women Thrive name when in reality I wasn't. Like I could have still talked about all the topics that I wanted to talk about under the Business Women Thrive name. Even though I really liked that name, it didn't fit me anymore in the direction that I wanted to take my brand. So the first tip is really if you feel that you want to take your brand in a different direction and that name that you have chosen originally no longer fits you, then it might be a good time to consider changing your brand name. So for me personally, I knew that I wanted it to be more of a lifestyle blogger. This is something that I've always really wanted and I fought around with a lot of different decisions including starting just an entirely new blog. So finally I made the decision to change the blog name and the YouTube channel followed a few months after. So let's talk about if you are looking to do that yourself, what you should be doing and a few things that you may not have considered when it comes to rebranding your business. So the first thing is pretty obvious you are going to have to change your domain name which choosing a domain name could be pretty difficult if the ones that you want are already taken. I got my domain name from my hosting, which is SiteGround. You're also going to have to remember that that means that your links are going to change. When I talked with SiteGround, I made sure that all of my links would be redirected from Business Women Thrive to Sarah Marie, which is what you want to happen because otherwise you are going to lose a lot of work. So for example, all of the pins that I have pinned to Pinterest under Business Women Thrive are driving traffic to the new domain. They're just redirecting it to Sarah Marie so that all those pins and promotion that I did over the years that are still driving me traffic are not just going to go to an error 404 page. They're actually going to go where they're supposed to go. I don't know if this is going to be the case with all domains. I assume that it would be, but I would talk to your hosting company to be sure because you really don't want to lose all of that hard work. You also have to remember that your followers are going to know you by your old business name. So you have to find find some way to let them know that you've changed. This is the main purpose of this video to let you guys know that I have changed my YouTube channel name and it's also to let you know like I'm not changing the content it's just specifically the name change but more than that I wanted to use this video to give you guys some tips since I did just go through a rebranding myself. The next thing you want to consider is all of your social media accounts. You may need to change your at name on your platforms in order for it to match your brand and this is one of the big reasons that I changed my YouTube channel name. Originally I was planning on keeping the YouTube channel channel the same name under Business Women Thrive because I thought that it fit the content better and I thought that would give you guys a better picture of exactly what type of content I posted just based off of the name. But logistically it became super hard to manage. I changed my Twitter name to Sarah with a slash and Business Women Thrive at the end but my Twitter at was still Be Women Thrive. But I did this to try to merge the two but it was probably confusing and difficult to manage. Another thing that was a logistical nightmare was the email addresses. So I have a domain email address for Sarah Marie, which is Sarah at Sarah Marie dot blog. I got this domain free through my site ground hosting, but the email that I prefer to use is the Gmail, which is my business woman thrive Gmail. However, once I had the blog under one name and the YouTube channel under the other, I didn't know what email to give to people. So if you're thinking of changing your name, this is something that you're going to have to consider. It would make sense to have your brand have a brand email that matches so that people know that they are talking to the right person when you give it out to them and it's not confusing. I want to next get into the mindset that goes behind changing your brand name. 
If you are considering changing your name and rebranding, how do you make that decision? For me, the decision really took forever because I still liked the name of Business Women Thrive, but I knew in my heart that it just wasn't where I wanted to take my business. So you want to think about the direction that your brand is going to go in when you are making this decision. If you are embarrassed about your blog name, it may be time to change it. I know for me, I absolutely hated telling people what my blog name was. I hated giving out my social media handles. I don't know what it was. I was proud of the name and I was happy about it, but telling people in your real life what you do online and things like this, I'm sure you guys have experienced this as well, telling people that you're a blogger, that's kind of an uncomfortable conversation. Now, I would be very happy to tell somebody that my blog name is Sarah Marie because it it makes sense. It's my name. And if you want to be more of a lifestyle brand and have a brand that's more about your vibe and your personality and your current name just doesn't fit that, it might be time to change your name. So you really want to think about the big vision for your brand and where you want to be in a few years from now. Because I know for me, I eventually would love to start a vlog channel and I already have the name picked out and it is not going to be Business Women Thrive Vlogs. Even if you don't make that change right now, you still want to be thinking of the bigger vision of what your blog and brand is going to be online. Changing your brand name is a really big decision and I highly recommend that you consider your decision before changing it because there is a lot of things that are going to go into that before you actually make that change. And truthfully, you'll go through many, many small re brands throughout your blog as you grow and your brand grows with you. So I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to like if you liked and subscribe to my channel down below for more videos just like this. And I'll see you next week. Bye.